Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the newest model of J. Cole Melbournes. This was a prototype this year at the Tampa RV show and it performed so well that it's now in production. This is a 2022 J. Cole Melbourne Prestige model 24 NP. This is a class B plus motorhome with no slide outs. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Melbourne Prestige and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to be showing you guys this is the world debut, the YouTube debut. Nobody else has seen this unit, so I'm super excited to show you the 24NP, which is finally getting us what we want, a Mercedes motorhome with no slide outs. But before I begin, let's say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going today? It's going good. Two things I want to mention. Yes. One, I am so excited about this RV, you guys. Uh, all I have to say is, those of you out there that love the Pleasure Way, uh -oh. you're going to love this. Yes. So do not click off this video. Right. Number two, guys, our rally is really, really soon. It's like in a week and a half. Yes. Um, in Nashville, Tennessee, May 17th through the 20th, we yep. have five spots. We sure do. So um, if you're interested, email will at wil at mattsrvreviews.com. Yes, and we hope to, can't wait to see everybody there. Andre, it's going to be the best RV rally ever. Yes. But first, let's show the best model. Yes, I'm excited. Model is Jayco Melbourne Prestige 24NP. And P stands for no problems. You know why? Because there's no <laughs> slide outs. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 25 feet 2 inches. This is the Jayco Melbourne Prestige full body paint come standard. Look at that. That is a one piece fully molded fiberglass front cap. No seams at all in it. Has that awesome front windshield. This does have the Mercedes chassis, the 3.0 liter V6, 188 horsepower. Really, really awesome chassis. Great fuel economy and everything. It's gonna have the adaptive cruise control, the lane assist, everything that you want in a Mercedes. Right here, check out the, look at these tires, Andrea. They're the Continentals. LT215-85R16 with the high specs rims on it. Right here, we do got mirrors, okay? Mirror on the left side and right side. Full body paint looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, and then we do have the nice little running board to help get you in and out of the motorhome. And Andrea, look at that fiberglass front cap. I mean, no, there's no seams in it. It's awesome. I like that Gerard awning goes almost the whole length of the motorhome. Yes, ma'am. Right there, we got a little bit of storage. I love how high it flips up. Yes. You got your speakers here. Right here is going to be uh, some of your access, I believe, for the refrigerator. And I love how they continue the full body paint there. Right here, Andre, is your propane tanks. And then here, bing, here's all the specs about this motorhome for everybody who is watching on television. Okay. Right here, we do got some storage right there. Okay. Very nice. Attack of the love bugs. Frameless windows. And yes, it is love bug season, Andrea. Frameless windows. And because this is Jayco, does have a two-year warranty, three-year structural warranty. More storage. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And, and let me tell you guys something. We we do prefer the sideways swinging doors, but with how high these flip up, it, it makes it easy to access. We hate when it flips up like this. Yes. And then you got to crawl all the way underneath. Coming around the back, Ooh. Andrea. Oh, dang that, but no ladder to get up on the roof. I do like the rear cap design. It looks very nice, very sleek. Lice LED lights, 5,000 pound hitch. We never recommend towing 5,000 pounds behind a Mercedes. You're always good, 4,300 pounds, but always know before you tow. Uh, right up there, there is a backup camera, and there, this does have a one piece fiberglass roof. Finishing up, Andrea, we do got 30 amp hookups right here. Very nice. Over here, this is your water hookup, low point drought, valve. Like your wet bay. Yes, your wet bay, Sweet. outdoor shower, black tank, potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Very nice. Oh, sorry. Jayco always does a great job on they that. Thank you. Truma Hot oh, Infant nice. Tankless Water Heater, fully painted. 
you guys are paying a lot of money for this paint job. You know what I'm saying? Have it fully painted. Have it look great. A little bit more storage there. Yes, but see, this is what we don't like. You know, how it doesn't swing all the way up. And that would be the generator. Yes, ma'am. That is an O name 3600 LP generator. And then again, driver's side. Fuel fill up over yep. here. Fuel fill up right here. Is. Nice running board to help get in and out. Oh, please and don't a little love bugs. <laughs> well, Andrea, the outside of the Melbourne Prestige looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Matt, you're not gonna skip? Oh, good. He was scared earlier to skip. I mean, there was people watching. <laughs> What's the cargo? Andrea, this will be interesting. 1,261 pounds. Okay, that's awesome. That's huge for a Oh, Mercedes hold motor. on, everyone. Now remember, this has no slides in it. So it's like this all the time. I love the colors in here. Okay, so I'm gonna do my walkthrough. This is so cool. Look at this walkway. This Andrea, is fabulous. Is. I love it. Look yeah. at all this room in here. Even with no slides, it still feels really spacious. Okay. Well, Andrea, um, before, well, we don't need to get the slide house out, but <laughs> let's give a quick shout out to sponsor RV Life, guys. Guys, it's the camping season. Make sure you use our promo code Matt's RV Reviews. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. With RV Life Pro, you get RV Life Trip Wizard. You can find all the national parks, state parks, city and local parts, even the cores of engineers in the BLM lands. You'll also be able to find every campground brand and clubs from AAA to Yogi Bear, Good Sam, Thousands Trails, KOAs, and more. Travel dreams and destinations are made simple with RV Life Trip Wizard, and that's a part of RV Life Pro. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Andrea, this is the way it is when you're driving, this is the way it is when you're parked. Let's get started right up front here in the cockpit area. Oh, and these seats swivel too. Those seats do swivel. Wow. Part of the living room area. Right here, we do got our memory seats. Memory seat one, two, and three. Power windows, everything, nice steering wheel, and you're able to set your cruise control and everything. Andre, sit in the co-captain seat. Okay. While she does that, this is gonna be your screen where you can see in reverse. This is gonna have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, um, Mercedes voice command, everything that you're gonna want in a Mercedes motorhome. Andrea, how do you feel up there? Very comfortable. Yes, tons of leg space there. Tons of leg space. Cup holders. Arm, arm rest. Look at this, this is nice. Got a little thing here to hold on to. Yes. I like this. It's very nice. Very comfortable. Yes. And you guys, these seats do swivel, and there's also a place for a pedestal table here. Yes, there is. Right here, Andrea, is the Bigfoot auto leveling, which is nice. very nice. And then here we do got a bunk over the cab. Andrea, even though this is a Mercedes motorhome, it's still a J-Co. Do you know what that means? Uh, that would mean it holds 750 pounds? Yes, ma'am. Really? 750 pounds. What? And right up there, we got plenty of space there. And that front windshield, Andrea, you push the button and the sun goes away Love if you it. need privacy. This is so cool. Yes, right up here are the cushions for once they swivel around. And here's the ladder. Nice. Put the ladder up there. Okay. Now, Andrea, this is very unique. So um, why don't you show the kitchen that I'll show these seats. Okay, look, here's your panel, everybody. This yes. is how you check your tanks, all that good stuff, lights. Got a nice cabinet here. Very modern. Love the Euro look. Yes. Okay, over here, there's a convection microwave. Okay. Okay. And a good size refrigerator. We got the Norcold. Yeah, in a and small motorhome like yes. this, that is a good size. Yeah, you got a freezer and the fridge. Okay. Normally you look at this much. Very cute. Okay, over here, you have like a little uh, cubby up here. The TV's here. I love the LED lights with this uh, uh, 
what do they call this? Backsplash. Bla backsplash or something. Yeah, and there's looks like there's um like a uh, oh a my thingy gosh, to what is what this? The heck? Oh my oh, gosh, that is so cool. I love that. Very nice. Okay, and over here we have a nice cabinet for a trash can. Yes, ma'am. Um, and then we have more cabinets up here. Okay. Very nice. Very very cute valances. Oh, hey on, let's look at them. <laughs> Andrea? Approved! Bing. Very nice. And then we got nighttime and daytime shades. Man, that's great. Okay, and then we got this round sink here. Okay, okay. Extension and a cutting board. We've got the two burner propane suburban cooktop with this glass cover. Mm, okay. Not my favorite. Right. Um, we got three drawers here. Yes, ma'am. Privacy curtain, but um, very, very cute. I mean, and then look at this countertop yes, area here, Andrea. Talk about this. So this is very interesting and unique. Um, it, it comes down, it's flush, it's nice. It gives you don't have countertop in here, so it does give you countertop space to work at. But also, Andrea, it's also part of the living room. You know what I'm saying? So right up here, oh man, my short arms won't be able to reach it. Oh, you're looking for the table. Yep. Matt, climb the ladder. Climb the ladder. Oh, I'm not gonna do all that, but. Oh, okay. So you have like the back cushion there, which is nice. Exactly, exactly. Okay, and then there's one that goes on this one as well. Yes, ma'am. And then actually both of these do drop down to make the bed a bed as well. Right, and um, the table is up there. Uh, actually, I don't know where the table is. It's probably somewhere around here. I think I'm doing this wrong. Or is it supposed to? I don't think it's supposed to fit quite like that. It might be. Oh, there's probably going to be another cushion somewhere. But Matt, I see something here. What's oh, what, what's that open up into? Oh, there's the table, everyone. Yes, okay. Yes. The lagoon style. So. So yeah, that lagoon style comes over here, and you can move it around and everything. Very cool. Pretty nice. Yep. Uh, did we mention the auto leveling? Yes. Okay. Very nice. And this is just interesting, Andrea. In you know, people are going to look at these seats and be like, oh, that they don't look comfortable. And they're not. They're not comfortable at all. But again, this, this unit is more for sitting and dining. And traveling. Because the living room area is going to kind of be in the bedroom right. area. Uh, but before we show that, let's show this bathroom. Okay. I just have to show this right here. Okay, so as we go in through here, this is such a cool door. I'll have to show that when he closes it. But look at this. Yeah. You got your fan up there. You got your cute little sink. Oh, it's very hold on. interesting. Wow. Okay. okay. And we've got on a pedestal. Let's see how that well, is. Well, first let's close this so you can see it. Okay, so very cute door. As you can see the shape. Okay. It's porcelain. Uh-oh, porcelain, really? Yeah. But I'm I'm pushing in too much on the okay. right. And it's on a pedestal. It's okay. not it's not a fine poop position. But again, it is porcelain, which is nice. And um, you know, it's just a small, it's just a small Okay. You know, like like maybe you're supposed to be using the bathroom like like this. I don't know. Um, like with this is yeah, the Yeah, because that does door. close up there like a magnet. But Andrea, for a B plus motorhome, wow. I mean this is a 24 by 36 shower. That's a great size, you know. Um you don't you don't get this in motorhomes this size, you know what no. I'm saying? No. And then again, talking about that living room area, kind of stunk, but I have this is. To, um, show this. Yeah, this is a Wow, area. look at this, you guys. This is so cool. It's amazing. Um, oh, so let me show this first. This will be some, the wardrobe. Okay. There's another table here. Right, right, very nice. Um, and we've got three drawers here. Okay. Which is a good size. I'll show one more. Yes. Okay. And look at all the cabinets. Man, it goes all the way this. around. We got all these cabinets above here. Yeah. So you got plenty of storage. Okay. And you know you have um, the this L shaped kind of little yeah. sofa. Have, have a seat on. on it. Lounge on it. It's like a rear lounge area. Very very it's nice. Very nice. And it's you know for having no slides, I gotta say, it, it's very spacious. And you are you do got a good spot of TV right there. Andrea, over there, there's uh, another cushion. What I'm liking in here is the windows. So this cushion's the cushion that we're looking right, for. Right, that goes right. in the living area up there. 
Right, got And then we've got some more storage here. Right, Andrea, I see what wow. you're saying. With the window and the lights and everything. Yeah, it's just great. Oop. We got the three cabinets up there. Very okay. nice. And then Andrea, this is where it becomes unique because this living area does Murphy into the bedroom area. Oh, how cool. Bed here. Yes, lay on it, Andrea. You lay on it, Matt. All right, I can. I'm I, in a dress. I can lay on it. Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. You know, a, a little short for shorter people. But again, Andrea, we can't compare this to a Class C motorhome. We got to compare this to a Class B. Right. And I gotta say, yeah. just the um, walking space in here is incredible with right. those slides. I can't believe it. Right. Um. Really, really nice, and Andrea. Again, this is for those people. This is the leisure travel van killer. This is a pleasure weight killer. Not only that, this is going to be significantly less than that. So, Andrea, do you know what I want to do before we give everybody three things we like and three things we don't like? Do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. MSRP oh, on this motorhome here is $204,604, Andrea, MSRP. Sale price, RV1 of Tampa has this unit, almost $35,000 discounted to $169,995. That is fan-freaking-tastic for a motorhome like this. And again, when you compare it to the competition, Andrea, it's killing it on price and everything. Um, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit nicer in my opinion. And the one thing that I want to tell everybody, uh, for the past two videos, we've given sale prices. If you guys could, please comment and interact on this unit because you guys want us to bring back sale prices. We want to bring back sale prices. So we need both of these videos to perform well uh, so we can bring this to management and tell them that we need sale prices back in the video. And Andrea, if somebody's interested in this unit, all you guys got to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the three contact tabs, whatever con, if you're ready to buy it, fill out tab number one. We're going to get you with a member of our team and we're going to make sure you get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the RV industry. Andrea, what do you want to do first? I want to do three things we like about it. First? No, let's do three things we dislike about it. First? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I, I can go first. Okay, I have two if you have one. I do. It, you know Talk what? To me. I really, really like this motorhome. Well, t tell me um, a dislike first. I don't have a lot, but I do have one. And Talk to it me. is driving me a little crazy. Let so us know. I don't like this TV placement. What the heck is that? Um, I know there's not a lot of places you can put it, but I feel like, uh, I don't know, maybe if they could have put it up higher. Yep. Because just right here is just weird. It is very I weird. I would rather have like, um, more like, space here for like spices or something yep. and then had it up it's not that big anyways and just had it up more or even just even eliminated thing. from the living room area right. altogether right that's gonna be number one yeah. andrea i have number two and number three okay number two and three i'm sitting in it the, the, these seats are just a little awkward here they're not comfortable they're not you know i i don't see how comfortable it's gonna be with the seats swiveled you know what i'm saying um, they're, 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 it just kind of is what it is in Andrea. There's only so much you can do with the floor plan style like this. Right. So that's number two. And then Andrea, I do have number three. It's back there. Personally, pet peeve of mine. Oops. I think making this bed is a pain in the butt. Moving all these cushions and everything. And then the fact that it's an east to west bed is kind of a pain in the butt as well. It's not a big deal, and it's what B people have to go through Wait, anyway. Right. It's just, it's not for me. Well, Andrea, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Do you mind if I go first? Sure. I will say I do love this living room area once the bed is up. I mean, am I right? Yes, it's really, really cool. Andrea, this is the motorhome when you're driving. This is the motorhome when you're parked. This is the motorhome at all times, and this rear lounge area is very, very Matt, cool. Matt, if we had this RV, I would be here. Oh, while I'm driving? 
No, no. Even if we were apart, I would be here with the TV, and you would be up there with the TV. Oh, man. And I would be watching all the shows I watch, and you'd be watching what you watch, right? Okay, okay. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be. That would be. <laughs> but, Andrea, this is a little too small for okay. me. Okay. So that's the first thing I really do love about this motorhome. Andrea, number two? I gotta say, it's refreshing to see this. I love the interiors in here. Yeah. I love the colors. I love the modern Euro look. Great mm. job, Jayco. Very nice, Andrea. That's number two. And then, Andrea, number three, I got to say the fact that there's no slide outs in this motorhome. Yes. Again, this is the pleasure way killer. This is what people, it's not what I'm looking for, but this is what people are looking for. They're looking for a small B plus um, that has no slide outs, that this is the way it is when you're driving, when you're parked. And I love how Jayco um, took a risk on this motorhome because this is what people are at, were asking for. And so they took a risk and they're reap, gonna reap the benefits of this. And you'll see the competitors have similar floor plans to this in model year 23 and 24. Um, and Jayco was the one who right. stepped out on the limb and actually did it. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody so much for watching. Again, guys, this is a newer motorhome, so Jayco will be reading the comments. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know what you like about this motorhome and what you dislike about this motorhome. Again, guys, we need lots of interactions on this video. We need feedback, everyone. We need feedback so it can do well, so we can start saying sale prices comments. again in our videos. Comments, thumbs up. Andrea, anything you want to say? Yes, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about it and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Okay, Jayco will be reading the comments like Matt said. So we, you know, they are really interested to see what you have to say about this new floor plan. Yes. Um, don't forget about our rally. We have five spots available, May 17th to the 20th in Nashville. If you're interested, please email uh, Will at W-I-L at MattsRReviews.com. Thanks yes. for watching, guys. I hope you're safe and well. Thank you. Absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And, Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.